Thank you for coming out. I know it's kind of cold, not bitter cold, but cold, which is why one of the reasons why I'm happy this press conference is taking place inside of the lobby of the City County Building. We're gathered here today to speak about the Pittsburgh Digital Equity Coalition Community Strategic Plan for this area. The members of this coalition are proud to share this comprehensive strategic plan with our community and committing to working together to bring these ideas to fruition and closing the digital divide in Allegheny County by 2030. Before we go any further, I will be amiss to not acknowledge the organizations participating in the coalition who are working with County Executive Rich Fitzgerald, City of Pittsburgh Mayor Ed Ganey, and the Director and Chief Information Officer Heidi Norman. They are the Allegheny County Department of Human Services, Allegheny County Housing Authority, Allegheny County Library Association, A Plus Schools, Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh, City of Pittsburgh Department of Innovation and Performance, City of Pittsburgh Office of Management and Budget, City of Pittsburgh Department of Mobility and Infrastructure, the Department of Parks and Recreation for the City of Pittsburgh, Computer Reach, EI Network, Greater Pittsburgh Digital Inclusion Alliance, Housing Authority of the City of Pittsburgh, Literacy Pittsburgh, Community Internet Solutions, Neighborhood Allies, Pittsburgh Regional Transit, Pittsburgh Public Schools, United Way of Southwestern Pennsylvania, University of Pittsburgh, University of Pittsburgh Western PA Regional Data Center, and three FAB consulting facilitators and consultants. Let's give these organizations a warm round of applause. As you will hear, it takes a village, a full community of everyone working together to work to get and close the digital gap. And today we are talking about the Digital Equity Coalition and that plan. Any questions from the media or from others will not be taken at this time. The focus is on this. So at this time, I would like to call forward Allegheny County Executive Rich Fitzgerald, sir. Thank you, Olga. And you know, when we talk about digital equity, um, there can't be any other equity when it comes to employment, when it comes to housing, when it comes to educational opportunities in today's day without digital equity. You know, if we were here uh, uh, decades ago or a century ago, we would be talking about people that weren't connected with electricity. And people weren't many, you know, th those times. That's where we are right now. We need to make sure that everybody, everybody in the city, everybody in the county, and quite frankly in my next job, everybody in the region uh, is connected digitally. They must have broadband, they must have access to the information that allows them to succeed. And without that ability to have the access to that information, whether it be the, the, the kid who's doing his homework, his or her homework, or looking for a job, or all the other type of communication that we sometimes, all of us take for granted, uh, people that don't have access to that are truly le being left behind. And if we are going to be a community for all, a city for all, a county for all, we've got to make sure that everybody is connected. And as was stated, you know, how we do these things well in this region is when we partner. When we partner with a lot of groups like yourself who, have st who are stakeholders in making sure that we are reaching out to everybody. So when the mayor called me and asked me to be part of this and how can we join together between the city and the county, uh, to make sure that we are putting the plan together, we are getting the resources together, that we are accessing what's coming out of the state and the feds and at the, at the, at, at, at the private sector. How do we make sure that all of our citizens are connected? 
the digital equity is where we are. And we're talking about 2030. I'm sure hope we can do it much quicker than that. And we're going to make sure that that, you know, that that, that, that happens. Um, again, in my last few weeks, I'm going to do everything I can. And you, you heard some of the partners uh, that, are, that the administration, DHS and health and so many others, economic development at the county level that will be part of that. And obviously with uh, with the mayor, uh, we, we're going to be doing doing the exact same thing. So I guess uh, I'm thankful to the mayor, thankful for the partnership that we're, we're, we're going to you know continue to embark upon. I think the report is very, very thorough. In, in, in pointing out some of the gaps that we have in this community and where we're going to be. So thank you for all of your participation and partnership, and let's make sure we keep working together. Thank you. Now, without someone definitely leading that charge, it would be hard to just take paper and make it a reality. Helping lead that charge is the Director of Innovation and Performance, Heidi Norman. Heidi. Hi. Uh, thank you, Mr. Fitzgerald. Thank you, Mayor Ganey. Um, your leadership and vision in establishing the Pittsburgh Digital Equity Coalition last fall um, we really, truly appreciate your support and your leadership for this. I'm really proud of the work that this amazing group of people and their organizations have done over the past year, and I'm humbled to have worked with them in crafting a strategic plan for our community to close the gap between those who are able to connect and participate in our digital economy and those who are not. This community strategic plan that we're sharing with you today represents the best ideas of our organizations to take concrete steps in ensuring that no one gets left behind. All students should be able to get the online education and training that they need without worrying that the cost of their internet connection may be too high to afford next month. All people who are searching for jobs online or want to accept a job offer that requires digital skills should be able to do so easily using a computer that is available, reliable, and with skills training that is accessible to them. Everyone in need of health care to connect with their doctor or nurse should be able to do that in the comfort of their home without having to travel to the nearest library or community center before they close for the day. The group assembled here to my left represent organizations from across Allegheny County which serve our residents in a variety of ways to support digital inclusion and equity. And they are the heroes that our residents rely on for help and they created this vision for our community Please join me in thanking them. So as much effort as the coalition has put into crafting this vision and plan to close the digital divide, the hard work is only just beginning. For everyone who is a stakeholder in the future of this city and county, we now call on you for your support and assistance in bringing this plan to life. By working together, we become the hub of a thriving and technologically advanced region where education, economic mobility, health care, and quality of life are supported and promoted for all of our residents. Please read the community strategic plan and then contact the members of the coalition who you already know and find out how you can support their efforts and our collective work. I thank you. One of the wording you will hear is collaboration and partnership and outgoing County Executive Rich Fitzgerald stated his work and his partnership with the City of Mayor Ed Ganey. I need to acknowledge County Executive-elect Sarah Anamorado present here. 
who's also working in regard to making sure that this plan is a reality and not something that's just on paper. At this time, I would like to bring forward the City of Pittsburgh, Mayor Ed Ganey. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, first, I want to thank County Exec Rich Fitzgerald. You know, I always say in order to make things happen, it takes a region to come together. And Rich has been a tremendous partner in the whole digital equity conversation and making sure that we're bringing it to fruition. So I'd just like to take a moment for everybody to thank Rich, not only for 12 years of service, but what he's doing to bring digital education so that there is no ignorance. Can y'all give a hand for County Exec Rich Fitzgerald? <laughs> Secondly, I always say that you have to have someone that's going to be a partner. And I'm extremely delighted that Sarah Anna Murata will be the next County Exec and what a partner we will have with her to continue to drive this forward. I'd just like for Sarah to come up for a minute. I know she don't want to say no words, but you know, we go all the way back to Harrisburg, and I know how much she's worked on a lot of these issues. And it wouldn't be bad if you just said hello. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, hello, folks, and thank you for including me in this exciting day with this release on this report. I look forward to diving in and recognizing what steps we need to take as a region to be able to deliver equitable access to the internet and technology throughout our region. This is work that doesn't happen alone. It happens only with partnerships with our nonprofit organizations, our authorities, with the mayor's office, and really all coming together to recognize that we can move forward and do big things together. So I look forward to adding all of these things uh, to the to-do list and making this plan a reality. So thank you all. And thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Heidi Norman, also just want to thank you for bringing everybody together. To all the organizations that exist right now to remove the level of disparity with digital equity. Can you just come forward for a second? All the organizations, just come forward real quick. Come on. Now, I know we move quicker than that. Come on, y'all, real quick. Real quick. Come on, come on, real quick. The reason why I asked them to come and stand behind me is because I want you to understand what I'm talking about. It's easy for me and the county exec to talk about wanting to remove the disparities of, de of digital equity but if we don't have the level of partnership that we have behind us right now, where's the county exec? Come here, county exec. Come on, stand right here. If we didn't have, if me and Rich didn't have the level of nonprofits that's behind us right now to help us remove the disparity of digital, digital equity, then none of this would happen. It's really not the work that we're doing, it's the work that you're doing. It's the work that all these organizations behind me are doing to make sure that we have digital equity for everybody. Whether we're talking about education, we understand that. For if the next, if the next generation don't have a level that they can get on and understand digital equity, then we're not going to have a ready and prepared workforce. That's the reality of this. It's about ensuring that the next generation is ready every single day because the nonprofits that's behind me right now are working together to educate them on how to mobilize, utilize, and move forward through digital equity. We couldn't do it without them. And I want to say that publicly because a lot of times elected officials like me are rich. Everybody looks to us getting the credit. It's not about us. All we did was convene. Heidi Norman and all of them brought these organizations together to help our region in education. And what about workforce development? Ensuring that the next generation and this generation understands the power of digital equity and is prepared to go to work. Is prepared to go to work. This is what we have to do. This is why we continue to come together to create a city and a county for all. And to teach the next generation why it's important. I even had these conversations in my house, it's just a little bit different. Like they'll text me from their bedroom and I'm downstairs. <laughs> and I have to explain to them, I respect digital equity. <laughs> but you're going to walk down these steps and come see me and have a conversation. Because that's what's more important. 
But while we're doing this, I just want everybody to know, to every mama out there, to every daddy out there, every grandfather, every grandmother, every caregiver, let's teach our kids digital equity so that they're prepared for a promise of a better tomorrow. The more we prepare them today, the more we will excel as a region tomorrow. That's what this is about. This is about preparing. And you know my motto, if you are prepared, you don't got to get prepared. And these organizations behind us are going to make sure that we're prepared to educate the new workforce in digital equity so that we remove ignorance, replace it with knowledge, and give them the hopes of a better tomorrow. Together we can do that. Thank you. Anybody want to say something? <laughs> Any of y'all want to say something real quick? One of the organizations who is already implementing one of the projects that's integral to making some of the digital equity plan key elements a reality is the United Way 211 Digital Navigator Network. Anyone, it allows anyone in the city or Allegheny County to contact 211 United Way's 24-7, 365 helpline to be connected with a digital navigator. This is an actual person. You're not talking to a machine. The navigator, who is a person, not a machine, will assist you with signing up for low-cost internet, having access to a device or digital literacy and skills training. Having a device without the skills to actually work that device does no one any good. And that is what's gonna help close that digital gap. And as the mayor said, these individuals are the ones who are closing that digital divide. It is important, as the mayor said, for those impacted who are in the low income, minorities, older individuals in our community. But if they're not thriving, we're not thriving. And we're not moving forward. So let's meet the goal of closing the digital divide by 2030 with everyone's assistance. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Thank you.